news tonight, unlocking the root cause of birth defects. That's the impact of a study at the Yale School of Medicine. They are the leading cause of infant deaths in this country. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta is in our New Haven newsroom with more on the significant research. Jocelyn. Anna Darren Medical Technology played a big role in this birth defect study at Yale. Using DNA sequencing, researchers were able to get a clearer understanding of how it came about. This image, taken from an infant, reveals a life-threatening heart defect. Normally, the heart should be located here, but in this child, the heart is located on the right side, the incorrect side. Dr. Mustafa Koka is among a handful of researchers at Yale School of Medicine. But for the most part, we don't know what causes uh, birth defect. Who have identified a genetic mutation, causing the heart to form in the wrong side of the body. What we've been trying to do is taking those results that we get from our patients and trying to understand what those genes do and trying to get a better sense so that we can explain to these families the reason why your child has a birth defect is because of this gene mutation. In this case, in fact, it is the gene that work. controls the cilia, the tiny uh, hair-like uh, structures uh, on uh, cells. This gene controls whether cilia that determine whether you have, where your left side and your right side is, move or don't move. Dr. Martina Bruckner says they found in animal models that when the gene was blocked, it led to too much or too little cilia movement. The bottom line is the whole system is broken and you can't tell your left side from your right side anymore. So that leads to the birth defect. Which leads to the birth defect. While treatment in utero is unlikely, it opens up other possibilities. We would have some pretty good ideas on complications that we could expect and we could potentially look at ways to prevent them. What led to their discovery in the lab, they say, started at the bedside and the DNA roadmap. There was no way to tackle the sequencing in the children that have birth defects, but now we can. And that's teaching us a lot about how we develop. They've al already identified a second patient with the gene mutation, but their work is challenging. It's only one of hundreds that could cause a heart defect. The next step, expanding the genetic testing at a much larger scale. Darren?